This is the new Barton automatic knob. That's the pistol grip. That's the base. That's the sleeve. Comes with two springs and three screws. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a T20 Torx bit, a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a small flat head screwdriver, and then just another screwdriver to hold those bits. You're going to want to start by putting it in drive. And then you go take your flat head screwdriver, pop out the front clip in your shifter, take it out, and take your bit, and there's one screw back there, take it out. Once the screw is totally loose, pull the handle just straight up and it should come straight off. At this point, take your sleeve, slide it over the top of the shaft, now you take your M4 by 0.6 flathead screw and your Allen wrench, put a little bit of Loctite on the thread, insert into the hole, once again with Loctite on there, and tighten the screw up. At this point, you take and you slide the base on over that. Now you may want to go back into park for ease of assembly. Move your dust cover forward and slide the base over that. Be careful not to do any damage to the dust cover. Make sure that goes all the way down. Once again shift back into drive so that it is straight vertical. At this point, you take your 632 flathead screw, screw, and it is the shorter one. It is the 3 16 long one, but Loctite on the thread of that as well. And then you have a hole here you want to line up there, and you screw that one in, getting it good and tight. At this point, you take your two springs and you put them in the counterboards that are in the top of the base. Screw them in. Make sure they're straight vertical. At, at this point <clears throat> you want to take the handle itself and inside that handle are two more counterboards. And it's imperative that those springs go into those two counterbores. So you can take your handle at this point and slip over the top of that and wiggle it as you push down. And make sure your handle goes all the way down. And once those are inserted into the other counterbores, take your longer 632 flathead screw and put Loctite on that as well. Take your 632 flathead screw, push your handle all the way down, insert your screw, and screw it in. The screw should go into the slot of the base. Now tighten that up as well. Now at this point it should be ready to go. But you must double check to make sure by going through all the gears and make sure that those springs that we inserted in there are in both counterboards. So go into park, allow the handle to come up. There should be no slop in it vertical. Pull it down, go into neutral. It should go back into reverse. Into drive, it should not go into manual. You should have to pull it back into that. Then you should be able to push it forward into drive, neutral. It should not go into reverse. If it does, you need to pull the handle back off and redo those two springs in there and double check again. As you can see, this one does not go into reverse. You have to push it down to get it into reverse. It does not go into park. 
You have to push it down to get it into park. And that's all there is to it. Once again, there is reverse, neutral, drive, will not go into manual. Push it down, goes into manual, comes back into drive. Neutral, will not go into reverse. Push it down, now you're in reverse, will not go into park. Push it down, now it's in park. At this time, your assembly is complete.